Hey there, I'm Joe Carter. If you've ever popped the hood and thought, where do I even start? You're in good company. Around here, we take the mystery out of car repair, one fix at a time. Whether you're a beginner or just looking to sharpen your skills, there's something here for you. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you're into learning without the headaches. All right, that's enough from me. Let's get the into it. The running clutch of the starter, called, popularly called the starter Bendix, received its name in honor of the inventor who patented it. This is a node that transfers the rotation of the starter rotor to the flywheel of the crankshaft, and after the start of the engine, goes out of engagement with the rotor shaft and does not transfer rotation in the opposite direction. It is necessary for the rotor is not rotated by the engine until the moment of withdrawal of the gear from meshing with the crown of the crankshaft flywheel. Thus, the wear of the starter is significantly reduced. Design Hopefully, from the above, it is clear what the Bendix is and what it is for. Driven cage with pinion, drive cage, rollers, springs for rollers, casing, round ring, together with the casing preventing the rollers from falling out of the grooves of the drive cage, shaped ring in its protrusions the fork rests when moving the assembly on the rotor shaft, buffer spring to soften the impact of the gear on the flywheel crown when starting the engine. Principle of operation, until the engine is started, the clutch gear does not engage with the flywheel crown gear, when voltage is applied to the retractor relay, it forks the bendix over the armature shaft toward the flywheel until it engages with the crown gear teeth and energizes the starter. When the armature rotates, the overrunning clutch is blocked. This is accomplished by locking the slave cage into the master cage by means of rollers. In this case the rotation of the armature is transmitted to the crankshaft flywheel and the engine starts. The grooves for the rollers in the drive cage are not uniform in depth. Therefore, when the rollers are in the deepest part of the driven cage with the pinion freely rotates in the drive cage. Moving under the influence of rotation and springs in the shallow part of the groove rollers, lock the cage between themselves. In principle, it is very similar to the free-running mechanism of a bicycle rear wheel hub, which disconnects the rear wheel and its drive when the bicycle is rolling so that the pedals do not rotate. Diagnosis If the starter rotates but does not turn the crankshaft, this is a sure sign of a faulty Bendix. There are two possible causes for a faulty Bendix, large wear in the roller grooves, preventing the slave ring from locking. With such a malfunction, the starter rotor rotates without extraneous sounds. The sound of its rotation is similar to a soft buzzing. The malfunction is eliminated by simply replacing the Bendix. Deformation of the teeth of the Bendix gear, not allowing them to enter into meshing with the gear of the flywheel crown. In this fault, the rotation of the starter rotor is accompanied by cracking teeth of the Bendix gear, coming off the teeth of the flywheel crown. To eliminate this fault, replacement of the Bendix is usually not enough. Most often the flywheel crown gear on the starter side is also spoiled and it is necessary to turn the crown on the flywheel, and in case of very high wear to change it for a new one. To do this, you need to remove the flywheel and using a hammer and gouge to knock the crown from the flywheel. Next, the crown should be heated in any available way to a temperature of about 150 degrees. From heating its inner diameter will increase and it is easy to put back on, but do not forget to orient it correctly. When buying, make sure that in the hole for the rotor shaft in the idler cage with the pinion is pressed copper graphite bushing. Its presence is not a guarantee that the Bendix is of excellent quality, but its absence, or a bushing of a different material, is a guarantee that it is bad. Replacement procedure Remove the battery terminal, unscrew the starter fastener, remove the starter and disconnect the wires from it, disassemble the starter. Disassembly of the starter Remove the stator cover covering the brushes. Unscrew the fasteners of the brush assembly, these will be either long bolts or studs passing between the stator windings, make sure that the insulation on them is intact. Use a screwdriver to loosen the flat spring and pull the brush out a little more than halfway. Press down to secure with the flat spring on the side. 
If you do not do this, the brushes will interfere with further disassembly. At the same time, check the length of the brushes, it must be at least 12 mm. If the brushes are shorter than this, they should be replaced. Remove the stator together with the brush assembly. If there is a Bendix travel limiter on the rotor shaft, remove it. Usually it consists of a wide ring with a groove on the inner side put on a spring stopper. The first one is removed with a 12 mm wrench, in most cases the diameter of the rotor shaft is about 12 mm and a hammer. The second one is removed with a flat screwdriver. Take the fork out of engagement with the shaped ring of the Bendix. Remove the Bendix. Start a Bendix arrangement. In conclusion, understanding the car starter Bendix is essential for any vehicle owner. This small yet crucial component plays a significant role in ensuring your engine starts smoothly and efficiently. By recognizing the signs of wear and knowing when to replace it, you can prevent potential breakdowns and costly repairs. Regular maintenance and attention to your starter system will not only enhance your vehicle's performance but also extend its lifespan. Stay informed and proactive, and your car will thank you for it. Thank you for watching, and drive safely.